And now to our other top story. The man accused of murdering 36-year-old Star Harris remains behind bars this evening. Ricky Bell was in a Tipton County courtroom this morning to face murder charges. Also tonight, three of Bell's family members are also under arrest in connection with this case. Dr. Teens, Kristen Talent is in Tipton County for the hearing. Kristen? Yeah, Merle. Ricky Bell is being held without bond tonight after his arraignment on charges of aggravated kidnapping and felony murder. 30-year-old Ricky A. Bell Jr. made his first appearance in court Thursday morning, arraigned on charges of aggravated kidnapping and felony murder. Because of your past criminal history and because this may very well be a capital case, at this point, the court's going to have you held without bond. Bell was arrested Tuesday afternoon for the murder of 36-year-old Tipton County mother, Star Harris. Harris was found dead last week in a wooded area behind her house in Drummond. Harris's body had severe trauma about her head and face as well as bruising on her torso, arms, and legs, which appeared to be consistent with a physical altercation. According to the affidavit, Star Harris placed a phone call to her husband, Thomas, last Tuesday while Bell was at the couple's home. Mrs. Harris gave the phone to Bell so he could speak to Thomas. Later that evening, Star Harris' body was discovered in the woods. A novelty pistol cigarette lighter was found in the same area. That lighter thought to be Bell's. Ricky Bell's brother... Michael Bell and Kevin Bell were both interviewed on June the 4th and both accurately described the pistol lighter. Pamela McDaniel, Bell's cousin, says the cigarette lighter is not enough to convince her that Ricky is guilty. It's not. That's not enough evidence. They can come on with that. That's not enough evidence. She says authorities can't see past Bell's criminal record, which includes more than 30 criminal charges. And I don't think they're looking at his background, but he ain't got no murder charge. Ricky Bell's brothers, Michael and Kevin Bell, were arrested Wednesday evening along with their cousin, Pierre Richardson, and charged with coercion of a witness. They're due in court July 13th. Meanwhile, McDaniel maintains her cousin, Ricky, is innocent. And I just feel like he's being framed. That's just deep down in my heart. I don't believe he did it. And I'm not saying it just because he's my relative. Now, Bell has not yet hired an attorney. He's due back in court June 22nd. Live in the studio, Kristen Talent, Fox 13 News. A suspect in the murder of a Mid-South mother is expected to be charged in the morning. Tonight, new details are surfacing about his background. Fox 13's Teeley Devereaux has been following this case. She has more for us from the studio. Teeley? Merle records show Ricky A. Bell Jr., a suspect in the murder of Star Harris, is no stranger to the law. We've learned he's newly released from prison in the Northeast, where he served 13 years for carjacking, among other charges. After being taken into custody at a Raleigh apartment complex Tuesday afternoon, murder suspect 30-year-old Ricky Bell was driven from Shelby County to the Tipton County Jail. Just four months ago, Bell was released from prison in Pennsylvania, where he spent 13 years. Prison officials say he was released last February after entering the system in December of 1997. An investigation has revealed juvenile court in Tipton County, where Bell grew up, sent him to a treatment center in Pennsylvania in the mid-1990s at the age of 15. His background there shows more than 30 criminal charges. They include aggravated assault, escape, and robbery of a vehicle, which is Tennessee's equivalent of car. Jacking. Many of Bell's neighbors either weren't home or were not comfortable speaking on camera. One of them tells us he lived with his mother and brother, though another neighbor says they haven't seen their cars in more than a week. When I hired him, I was told that I did was told that he was in jail, but I was told that he was in jail for uh, riding in a stolen vehicle. So I, you know, I didn't know anything else other than that. The husband of Star Harris, the 36-year-old mother, whom Bell is expected to be formally charged Thursday with killing, says he didn't want to jump to judgment when he hired Bell to work for his family landscaping business. I give a lot of people jobs in this area, you know, throughout the year and stuff, and and try to, you know, try to help, and, you know, you just don't, you just don't, you don't ever know. Harris was found beaten to death June 1st behind her home in Drummond's. Besides being an employee, Bell was also Harris's neighbor, living just around the corner. Rick Harris says Bell went to his home the day his wife was killed, upset about his paycheck. And I rode with this guy. And I, you know, I never saw anger from this fella. I would have never thought. 
The Tipton County Sheriff's Office, who worked this case around the clock for a week, plans to charge Bell with first-degree murder. He'll be arraigned in Tipton County Court at 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. Fox 13 will be there to bring you the very latest. To hear more from Rick Harris's interview on his wife and Ricky Bell, log on to myfoxmemphis.com. In the studio, Tealy Devereaux, Fox 13 News.